Okay, in this video I just want to look at an example of finding the inverse Laplace transform of a function involving a factor of the form e to the negative cs. So here we're going to be given that capital Y of s equals e to the negative 3 multiplied by s divided by s squared. Sorry, the little 2 kind of got squeezed in there. We want to compute the inverse Laplace transform of e to the negative 3s divided by s squared. So I've jotted down a couple things here. So, again, just the, the formula, which we proved in a different video, the Laplace transform of f of t minus c multiplied by capital H of t minus c, we said that that's equal to e to the negative cs multiplied by capital F of s. And again, h is our heaviside function. So, okay, so what have we got here? If you take the inverse Laplace transform of the right side, so that's what I'm doing, I'm just saying, hey, you know, we've got this original expression, let's take the inverse Laplace transform. If you take the inverse Laplace transform of the left side as well, they just undo each other, and you get back with that, that original function that you started with. So, just to, again, point that out. So, we've got the form, so we had e to the negative you know, e to the negative 3s over s squared. I'm just breaking that up to make it crystal clear. So we were trying to find the Lapl inverse Laplace transform of e to the negative 3s multiplied by 1 over s squared. Well, that means that our c value is going to be equal to 3. So c equals 3. So I can already write, you know, we've got h of t minus 3. And then we're going to have, okay, we've got this f of t minus 3, and this is the part that we still, you know, have to, have to figure out. So once we can figure out f of t minus 3, we're done. Okay, that's the last thing we have to do. Well, recall, I mean, to get f of t, f of t is the inverse Laplace transform of f of s. So to get f of t, we just take the inverse Laplace transform of f of s. Well, f of s is our function here, 1 over s squared. So we're just using our inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared. And again, just by using a table of values, so if you've got a table of Laplace transforms, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared, that's just going to be equal to t. So again, to get this, I'm just using a table of Laplace transforms. Okay, so it says we're really almost done. We're pretty much there. These ones uh, aren't too bad. So our function f of t, f of t is just actually equal to t. Well, if f of t equals to t, if we replace our t with t minus 3, well, f of t minus 3 is just going to equal t minus 3. And now we have our solution. It says that the inverse Laplace transform of that original function, e to the negative 3s divided by s squared, it says that's going to be equal to f of t minus 3, which we said in this case turned out to be exactly just t minus 3. And then we multiply that by h of t minus c. So we would have h of t minus 3, because again, our c value is equal to 3. And that would be our answer in this case.